I was just telling her I had a really bad first date with someone this past week where okay. he talked about his ex for an hour <laughs> and showed me his photos of his exes. That's mocking it. Mocking and, it. Um, called me a communist while we were also at it. So. What are you communist for? <laughs> I don't know. She's from Canada. I am from okay. Canada. Well, that doesn't make any justifiable. <laughs> no, but. I, don't know. I was like, I mean, I don't know. Or um, I never, never lose interest in the person and I will forever be obsessed with them. I, I find it crazy a guy's gonna sit there for an hour talking about his ex. Bro, what are you doing? An hour. That's where I was at too. And then, oh, he also made me split the bill. Nah. Is there like a height limit when you date guys? Do you need a guy to be yeah. a certain height? Like, nothing below six foot. Everything's even when you're horizontal. Very true. So what's, what's your height cap then? Uh, my height or higher. So what's your, what's your, what's your height? I have five eight or higher. Okay, and you want six foot minimum? Yeah, and um, five three. Also when you're 69, you gotta make sure it's like balanced out, no? I mean, she got me on his knees then. Like, yeah, do you know what I mean? I know. What did you say? Yeah, exactly. Like, you're doing you're 69, right, you're, you're, right. Gonna be on, you're gonna be on his knees, aren't you? Or I can like stand on something. So why do you think girls like taller guys? What, what, what's, 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 what's the great about it? You know that other things are taller. You think? Always? That's not always the case. In my experience, it's been the case. Well, you're shorter, so everyone's taller than you. So that's not really Yeah, a you're, like, you're like flippable, you know? You're like a flippable Yeah, height. she's a flipper. Yeah. No, she's flippable. Like, yeah, she, yeah, she yeah. toss her around the bedroom and stuff because she's so small. A spinner, if you will. I'm wearing heels too. A spinner. So. She's a spinner. You are a spinner? <laughs> no, it like bleach I mean, hair. girl is so short, you can spin them. Oh, is that how you moving? You spin I hope my mother doesn't see that. I don't move myself. <laughs> Could you get a tall, tall guy who's ugly or a short guy that's pretty good handsome? Probably like not a short guy that's handsome, but a tall guy that's handsome. No, 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 that wasn't the question. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Why are you changing the question for? Would you get with a tall guy who's clapped or a short guy that's handsome? Pick one. They're oh, your choices. If the tall guy had a good personality, like if he would like dirty talk slash like the charm. You know, like charm is personality, so. Okay, so charming, dirty talk, and hey, good night, yeah. good, good morning to well, you. Like I, we actually I met a British guy recently. Kind of stuff, yeah. It's so funny, I had someone recently spit she, in my she, mouth, she which I've never done sense, before, so yeah. and I was like, whoa, is this a thing? Is it your height time? I guess. Well, now I'm taller because I'm wearing heels, so. Oh, she was like, yeah, good work Are now. you six feet? Six two. Okay. Feasible. <laughs> I'm like, is he, is he really six foot two? Is he really six foot two? Yeah, I don't know. What is one thing a man does that makes him feminine? Chelsea boots. Um, Where's Chelsea boots? A man who blocks you on anything is very feminine. Blocks you? Yeah. Why would he block you? Because he's a girl. Well, why, why is a guy, okay, why is a guy blocked you in the past then? What did you do to make him block you? Who says I've ever experienced this? I feel like it's personal, that's why. They can't kill okay. a bug. If oh. they can't kill a bug, that's okay. right. Yeah, if they can't kill a bug, if they can't like set up, they if they like can't like fix like something in an apartment, okay. they're feminine. So because you can't kill a bug, he's less of money, yeah? Yeah. Okay. If they can't kill a bug. That, that's fair. You can't fix anything in an apartment, that's fair. I can believe that yeah. one. Yeah. But also, I feel like it's really feminine when you're like super sick and you like can't do anything when you're super sick. <laughs> Yeah, but look, man flu is hot. Man flu is real, you know. Man flu is real, but like, but like it, a little sniffle. If you're like, if you have a little sniffle, and you're like, I can't go out. I'm sick. Like, so goodbye. Have you, have you met guys that do that then? That have a few sniffles, like, oh baby, yeah. I'm, I'm feeling ill. <laughs> I didn't even know. About okay, she. Yeah, my, my, cur my current boyfriend's like gets super sick, and like the second that he has like one runny nose, he's oh, out. I'm like, goodbye. I mean, personally, I like a feminine man. Yeah, I don't think there's right. anything wrong. How's with feminine, it feminine to you then? Like, what do you think? What are you deeming as feminine then? I mean, I like a clean cut. Clean cut man. Okay, that's not feminine. That's just a guy looking after himself. <laughs> I agree. That's the thing. That, like people I, blur those lines. Yeah. Okay, where's the blur then? Tell me where it blurs then. Where a guy becomes not less of a man, more of a fruity brother. <laughs> yeah, come on. Where's, well, I need to know where the line is. Come on. Because if a guy looks after his beard, his nails, his skin, that's not a bad thing because he's just like looking after that's like yeah. grooming. Yeah. I don't make him feminine, but there's that line where it's like, bro, moon with mad now. You're a bit crazy now, you know what I mean? She doesn't like when they post like. Feminine Instagram story. Lawa, 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 lawa. Just like picture of flowers or something. What's brothers doing that? You know, guys that do that. Yeah. Lad, sort that. your life out, man. Sort your life out, bro. So, what's your answer to the question? What was the question to me then? Um, what makes a man like too feminine? Well, he's all like just like a pansy, innit? 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, a bit fruity. He's wears, gotta be able to like... Wears lipstick, paints his nails, you know. He's gotta be able bit. to build some furniture. <laughs> yeah, of In New York, yeah, you know. Yeah, of course, of course. We're talking suburbs, you gotta be able to like mow a lawn, yeah, build yeah. a fire. But isn't that like what guys do anyway? Don't guys like, well, you know, should. repair stuff and mow the lawn and fix things and, you know, they build your petrol and stuff? Well, <sighs> sorry. I all right, all right, okay, all right, crazy. Right. Yeah. All right, let's so move on. I like a man who chops wood. She likes a man who plays guitar. I just think when it comes to like that, like masculine, like feminine, like energy, mm. like I look at it like, okay, if a man's wearing a skirt, painting his nails, like who cares? Like he's still manly if he thinks. So would you date a guy that would paint his nails or skirt? I have, I have. <laughs> How did it go down? Loved it every second. Are you still with him? <laughs> No. Fuck That's no. probably why then, isn't it? He cheated on me. <laughs> really? A guy who paints his nails with a West Coast exactly, cheat on you? Exactly. Any That's man why she's fucking me. triggered. It That's why you're no, triggered, isn't it? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether you are like the mascot for a man. Mm. It like it, I feel like him cheating had nothing to do with that. I honestly I need to debate. I'm like, I give me like give me little, the in between. I honestly like a little Would you three. like a guy that wear Please. Would you like a guy that wears skirts and paints his nails? Yes. That's gorgeous. A little layering? Are you kidding me? Like oh, Harry Styles, a man who's okay with his sexuality. Are you, you you're telling you me you're telling me you're getting rid of layering options because of a skirt? I mean, if a guy's wearing a skirt, paint his nails, a bit mud in it. I As love a, a good. I mean, that'd be hypocritical. Yeah, Look at my nails. Yeah, but that's you nice because you're a woman. Right? That's womanly. Nails are womanly. I paint his nails too. Let's get them done. Let's go into that nail salon together. All right, on that note, you can see on my camera now. My second date with one of my boyfriends, yeah. my exes, we went to a nail salon together. We're getting involved. I'm shy. <laughs> Come on. Our shy girl. <laughs> she ain't shy. Aww. I bet she's a selfie queen, really, isn't it? A question a guy should never ask you. Why are you so crazy? <laughs> like, well, usually because you're crazy, though. <laughs> yeah. No, nobody's asking me. I feel like if somebody asks me, you're like, hey. <laughs> I mean, why you if a guy says, are you crazy, that usually means you're crazy. No, but I feel like if a guy's asking you if you're crazy, it's because he's done something wrong. I mean, and you're guy, having a natural reaction to it. If you ask a woman, are you crazy? Maybe she's crazy because of her last partner. That's fair. Yeah. You know, maybe she's thinking... But do we have to phrase it as, why are you crazy? I mean, what, what, would, you, what would you want to phrase it as then? What would you prefer? <laughs> it's like, why was that your reaction? Too subtle. Too subtle? <laughs> too subtle. Are you like a big impact? No, 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 no. no. It's okay. too subtle though. You're in, for, you're in the dramatics. No, no, I'm, okay. not, I'm not here for a riot, but it's a bit too okay. subtle. Okay, okay. What's one thing a man should never ask a woman? I feel like I'm... Putting on, getting put on blast. No, not one of these. I just have to think about it. Okay. Uh, what's, one, what's one thing that you would not like a guy to ask you? Would never appreciate him saying it to you, or even even thinking about asking the question. Like some girls say, when, when and you think about like your money. I feel yeah, like, like money your should not be brought up. Okay. Like how much you earn and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. you should never ask a woman. That's oh, not a bad God. question though. 100%. That's a bad question. Because you, you ask a bad question once you're high on Instagram. I feel like, I feel like you should work out. Yes, I feel like you should also ne never ask a woman like their number. Oh, body count. Body yeah, count. Yeah. Never. Body count. Yes. Body count. Never. Well, what have you been run through though then, you know? What'd you say? Just say you've been run through. If it's a healthy it's not relationship to though, like, it. it's not up to them to know. <laughs> it's not up to it's them all to about know. being mysterious. Tell me about body count then. <laughs> don't tell me body count. <laughs> I, mean, so yeah, I don't know. Does a guy want to go give up their body count? I feel like no, they don't. I mean, most guys would, would say yeah, they would. But what if it's really high? What's really high to you then? Now, what's the number you think? What's the number you think? You know what? I'm not even gonna like go for, there. No, for a guy, like 50. I yeah. think 50 is a lot. Okay. For a guy. You've touched a lot of people if you've hit 50. Yeah. Like, You've whoa, just been out there cool. piping girls like that. Yeah. Like, in a woody million. You've been okay. throwing it out. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so what? if you watch like Love Island, it's like 300. <laughs> yeah. so what, what's high for a woman then? I don't think there is like a standard. Yo, she said 50 for a man. <laughs> <laughs> Women can do whatever we want, but a man, 50 no, no, is no, 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 a limit. Have a, no, no, have a limit, have a limit. A, a guy would be judged less than a woman, you know that, in yeah. the world. Yes. Yeah. So what would be deemed a bad number for a woman then? 50? Okay, not I think bad, but like judged. a high number is like a hundred, I would say. But a guy would be judged, or no, a girl would be judged way more than a man. Okay, fair. Yeah. Like a fifty if for a, a, 50, a, 50 the girl's for a fifty for a woman is compared a to a fifty for a, yeah, yeah, yeah. a man is a, it could seem like a lot more. When do you lose interest in a guy? When he, I experienced this just recently. That's why I know. Share yeah, the story. He, he just stops caring. Like you literally, like you see it in his face, his emotions. He went for a job interview for his career, mm. and he got the job, and he just like never told me. I found that on social media, like little things like that. Well, he didn't tell you on the job. No. 
so that's when I was like, clearly I'm in it more than the other person is, and that's mm. when my interest went from 100% to 50%, and like, by then it's like... I know. mean, a job's a big thing to get a new job. That's a big deal. Yeah. I mean, you might have taken him out on like a few drinks, might have taken him out for dinner or something. I was, I was supposed you know? to be their person and I wasn't in that situation. And was it somebody else or he just wasn't bothered with you? I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to find out very soon. We're going to oh, find out. Bring him on, bring him on. <laughs> like mentioning an ex maybe? Like when they start to mention their ex. We're, like, we're actually traumatized him. <laughs> yeah. Just like share the trauma. It's like, are you telling me that you're like, not don't want something serious or is your ex still on your mind you know mm, okay wow. that's, that's how so I, a guy said that to you then yeah like well if someone mentions their ex like on a first date it's like oh that's a bit crazy yeah that should be about okay. you asking you questions what you like yeah. what you're into what's your i think girls when they smoke <laughs> what's your ex moment girls when they uh. smoke I can't do lava mouth, but that's just my choice to be fair, you get me? Luckily, yeah. we're not making out tonight. Yeah, yeah of course. Cool. <laughs> They're not putting in any effort. Define effort then. Yeah, oh, define effort. Yeah, what's effort to you? What's like, something the guy could do if you know, oh, fuck this guy, man, because now the guy just, just moving like an idiot. Not texting, not calling after a date. Mm, okay. Not reaching out in general. Like, obviously, like, we're all busy, but mm. reach out, check in. Even if we're not going to be able to see each other for a week, like, you should still send a text, send a call, check mm. in, plan something in advance. I think a man planning a date is... You know what? I know a lot of guys that don't plan dates. I might plan something. I don't want to plan things. Of course, of course. I mean, I want to, but I don't want to be the only one doing it. I mean, from the first date, you want a guy to take you somewhere or say, go here, here the time. Yeah. Yada, 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 yada. Cool. It's like, I already know I'm a fun person. Mm. So I'm probably going to have fun regardless. I can tell you're fun. <laughs> Thank you. But, like, I want someone else to, like, put in that effort. So it's like, if I plan something, I'm going to think I'm having a good time because I planned it. Mm. But I want someone else to plan it mm. so I can see if it's going to be a good time when I'm with them doing something that they wanted to do. Okay, this is probably not normal. I hate when a guy is, like, way too extremely, like, extroverted. Like, if uh, yeah. we go into a public setting and you are so loud and just trying to, like, all eyes on me, like, immediate. If, for example, if we're, like, at the bar mm. and you're just trying to get everybody's attention around you, like, just being That's loud much. and annoying and, like, rambunctious, like, yeah. settle down. How's like, it happened in the past to you? Yes, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, show me detail that whole. <laughs> She's like, being well. somewhere. She's being somewhere. I'm, like, literally, yeah, that was probably my worst date. Have you ever had a bad date? No, no dates anymore. But what do you do then? I'm married. Okay, so before you're married, what did you do then? If you, you have out. a bad date, you, <laughs> okay. you like end it, I don't know. You say, like I have to go home, I don't feel good. You text your girlfriend and you're like, hey. No, that's ever happened because I would minutes. know better than to make a date with someone who I knew was gonna be bad. So know? if it was a bad date, how would you leave a bad date? I would say like, I don't feel well, I have to go, I have a stomach ache. Okay, you know in England, I asked this question to ladies in England, right? You know what they said to me? What? We'll run to the toilet or jump out the window. <laughs> wow, Wouldn't that's even tell him. Intense. What's your worst story? Tell them. You date someone from Manchester, they have too much makeup on, and then it's all over your bed sheets the next day? I don't date girls in Manchester. Yeah, exactly. I don't think anyone does. I, no, I, some I, people do. <laughs> <laughs> some people do. Manchester girls, sort out now, yeah? You get, you're getting terrorized in New York. Why do you think guys make girls, or why do you think guys just leave girls on them? Because sometimes I just think they don't put as much thought into it as we do. So what they think is like so casual and they're just like being nonchalant and like, we're like thinking about it and we're texting in group chats. Everything you send us is in a group chat. Yeah. Everything. Oh yeah. Everything. You're talking like You know what, I'll tell you one thing about guys though. You know when guys are like that, yeah? I'll tell you the reason they're like that. Because they always found something better. And when I say better, I don't mean someone's, before I finish, not saying it's better than you, they think it's better than yeah, you, and it might not be. See, I think it's the opposite. Sometimes. <laughs> because, you, mean, you mean they might because, downgrade. Well, okay, so think about it. Like, when a woman has is, like, confident on her own, like, independent, and yeah, you yeah, have yeah. an insecure man, mm -hmm. he's going to try to pull you down, and you're not going to fall for that bullshit, so you're going to be combative. And then they're always going to find someone who will tolerate their bullshit. Mm. Mm, okay. And, yeah. Okay, That's why yeah. I think it's, like, yeah. could be the opposite. You know, I always relate it to, like, when, especially in New York City, right, you're in a grocery store, right, and you don't have one option of cookie. You have, like, 20. But so why would you pick up 
the one cookie when you can have them all. And I think that's kind of like, people are definitely, I feel like, confused or just don't want to like commit also, to that. Also, I feel like in New York City, Everybody is so career based that relationship like falls last and I'll say this until I'm blue in the face No, everybody wants to go on dates, but nobody wants to date And I feel like a lot of people and it's good like I'm career focused like dating comes last But like I feel like that's just how it is and why a lot of people struggle to date in New York City Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you're not gonna find your husband. I you're gonna find your situation so Do you just prefer like a guy to come around listen no, come come around change my oils and fuck off back to where you came from? No, I could change my own oil. Fairs, fairs, fairs. I think it depends on where you're at, you know? Sometimes I, I just rather have the bluntness, and sometimes you want, you know, the D. If you could get your ride on, man, what's he look like? Vicky, you told me in the park. Let's go, let's go. What kind of man do you want? I just want someone who's successful and can provide. I am a very independent person. I make a lot of money in my field, and I for myself, but I also like a man who has goals, ambitions, and is able to, he makes good money because he likes what he does and he's good at it because he went to school, he's smart, that's all I need, he's an ambitious person. Alright, so person. if the guy is ambitious, smart, got money, can he still look clapped? Uh, so clapped? This was another conversation we had. <laughs> oh, this is weird because we had this conversation tonight that I think that I'm more attracted to somebody who is ambitious and has goals in life than more than their looks, honestly. So if he's ambitious, he's got money, he's got and success. I can, and I sense, I can see that from that person, yes. I'm and he's person. ugly, he's got a dad bod, <laughs> his, his penis is like three inches. We really go with the Yeah, listen, you want, listen, clapped is fully clapped. I'm on, I'm on my head to toting, you know? The tote, he has man's like not really gonna long give you, Man's not gonna give you no pipe or nothing. He's just gonna be like, you're good for that. Since you want ambition. She's, she's losing it here. No, I'm, 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 just, for, I'm just intrigued, isn't it? I'm on this side right now. I'm excited I'm, to hear the answer. I think it's per person. I really do. I'm giving you, I'm giving you the spec right now. There's no per person right It's the spec. <laughs> this guy is bold. He's bolding. He's, he's over, he can't see, he can't see his pee pee. Yeah, his belly's sticking out. And when he's on top of you, he just sweats on you and all sorts. Like, you're down for that. But you're setting me up to say something mean. No, I'm, not, I'm, asking, I'm asking you, would you accept that? I'm asking you to say anything mean. Accept it? Maybe if you love me know unconditionally, it. Yeah, I, I would wasn't. say that she would. I mean, you still might cheat on you, to be fair, because <laughs> you got money in it. Okay, then see, like, this is just a quick, a trick question. My mom would, like, love to see me on this, so <laughs> it doesn't well, matter. What's your mother's name? Rochelle. Shout out to you, Rochelle. You Rochelle, don't Rochelle. Rochelle. She taught me everything I know. She taught me to, like, talk well, guys. Well, easy. You need, so. to live, you need to chill on that part. <laughs> what? No, my mom. You don't mom, to be a spinner. I can't. Don't do that too much to her. My mom is a spinner. What? My mom, you spin her too. Shout yeah. out to Rochelle, the number.